Dear students, you eat different kinds of food. Tell me, how do you eat your food? First, you take your food on your hand and then take it to your mouth. After that, you put the food into your mouth, chew it well with your teeth and then swallow it. Unlike you, a crow does not have hands and the mouth. A crow eats the plant and the insects with the help of its beak. The beak of a crow is like our hands and our mouths. The beak does not have teeth. So, a crow does not chew its food. Like a crow, a kingfisher also eats fish with the help of its beak. A vulture eats flesh with the help of its beak. A pigeon eats grains with the help of its beak. A sunbird sucks nectar from the flowers with the help of its beak. All the birds eat their food with the help of their beaks. Birds use their beak for other purposes as well. A woodpecker uses its beak to make holes in the trunk of a tree. A duck uses its beak to dig soft mud. A cock uses its beak to fight with another cock. In addition to eating flesh, a vulture uses its beak to tear the flesh. So, birds use their beaks for different purposes. Different birds have different types of beaks. Dear students, you all know that a pigeon eats grains like the maize, the wheat, the pea and the barley. Do you know how it eats these grains? A pigeon eats grains with the help of its beak. Look at the beak of a pigeon. It is short and thick. It is hard too. The short, thick and hard beak of a pigeon helps it to pick and eat the grains. It also helps a pigeon to crack the seed. As the beak of a pigeon is suitable for picking up the grains, its beak is called the grain-eating beak. The beak of a bird, like a sparrow and a dove, is also suitable for picking up the grains. So, the beak is also called the grain-eating beak. Now, look at this parrot. It is eating peanuts. It is eating peanuts with the help of its beak. Have a look at the beak of the parrot. 
It is hooked and curved. It is sharp and strong too. A parrot uses its hooked, curved, sharp, and strong beak to crack the peanut and eat it. As this kind of a beak helps the parrot to crack the nut, the beak of a parrot is the nut cracking beak. The beak of a hornbill is also the nut cracking beak. This is a hoopoe. It is an insect eating bird. Now look at its beak. The beak of a hoopoe is long, slender, and curved. This beak helps it to collect insects to eat. As the beak of the hoopoe helps it to collect insects, this kind of a beak is called the insect eating beak. So, the beak of the hoopoe is the insect eating beak. Students, most of the birds build nests to live in. Like most of the birds, a woodpecker also builds a nest to live in. A woodpecker builds its nest in the tree trunk. It makes a hole in the tree trunk to live in. Even though a tree trunk is very hard, a woodpecker uses its beak to make a hole on the tree trunk. The beak of a woodpecker is straight and strong. Its shape is like a chisel. The woodpecker uses its straight, strong and chisel-shaped beak to make holes in the trunk of the trees. As the beak of a woodpecker is used for wood chiseling, its beak is called the wood chiseling beak. A woodpecker also uses its beak to pull out the insect and the lava found in the bark of a tree. Now this is a vulture. A vulture is a scavenger. It eats flesh of dead animals. A vulture uses its beak to tear the tough flesh of dead animals. A vulture has a sharp beak. Its beak is curved and powerful. A vulture uses its sharp curved and powerful beak to tear the tough flesh of dead animals. This kind of a beak is called the tearing beak. An eagle also has sharp, curved and powerful beak. The beak of an eagle is also called the tearing beak. An eagle uses its tearing beak to tear and eat the flesh of other birds. 
a kite, and an owl also have the tearing beak. Students, you must have seen a duck. A duck spends most of its time on the water. It also swims in the water. It looks for insects and worms to eat in the soft mud around the water with the help of its beak. A duck has a broad and flat beak. It uses its broad and flat beak to dig soft mud and draw an insect or a worm to eat. A duck also uses its beak to draw an insect and worm that is in the water. The beak of a duck even helps it to filter and remove water and mud from the worm it eats. The beak that helps to remove water and the mud is called the water and mud straining beak. So, the beak of a duck is water and mud straining beak. A goose and a swan also have water and mud straining beak.